So today we're going to take a quick look at these indoor digital thermometers. I have a bit of a range here. I have three from Thermo Pro and I have this little one from Dacos. I'm going to quickly let you know the differences between the four that I have here and tell you some of the pitfalls or some of the things I like about them and things I don't. So first of all, let's start with the smallest one. So this is the Dacos digital indoor thermometer, which monitors temperature and humidity. Now it monitors humidity with a number, but also a smiley face chart. In fact, all these have the smiley face rating system. So obviously frowning face, sad face and happy face. It just lets you know the actual humidity on that particular day. So rather than a number, you can just glance. If it's a happy face, you know you're all good. So this is quite a small little unit. You see it has a tiny little metal stand and it will just stand on any desk. And it will also mount with a tiny little magnet on the back on anywhere metal. And it has the screw mounted at the top. Other than that, there's no way of lighting or displaying the display. The brightness is what it is. And there's also two settings and there's no way to record any of the temperatures or monitor them as an average. So it's just a very small, basic little unit. If you just want a really simple, basic little thermometer, then yeah, you can't really go wrong. Pitfalls with it, the only thing I don't like about it, the magnet is very, very tiny in the back there. Um, other than that, it's, it's absolutely fine, it does, it does stick, but you know, it can occasionally fall off. So I would just be very careful with that. Probably wall mount it with a screw or sit it on your table or desk. You can adjust the temperature on the back from Celsius to Fahrenheit, which is a plus, but other than that, pretty simple, basic little unit. And then we go on to the Thermo Pro TP49, has very similar features on the back, a little table stand, a screw to wall mount it and a magnet on the back. The magnet is much bigger on this one. Again, it has the button on the back to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And again, it has the temperature and humidity rating and a smiley rating again for the humidity. Again, no way of monitoring an average daily temperature or anything like that. No backlight, it is just what it is. And again, just a nice smart little unit. It definitely looks a step up from the Dacos one uh, in size and kind of quality and feel just looks a much nicer unit. I also think the display is a little bit brighter on this one as well. So that's the TP49. Then we move on to this one, which is the TP53. Now this has all the functions as the TP49, but you have an average recording as well. So it will tell you the average temperature and the average humidity throughout your day. That might be important if you have this in a greenhouse and you need to monitor and you want a constant humidity throughout the day and the night. That's why that feature is so important. And out of the three we've seen so far, the TP50 is the only one out of these three that has that facility on there. The back is the same, it has a little stand, it has a good strong magnet, but this one doesn't have a wall mount, which is quite strange. There's no hook or there's no screw mount for this one. I don't know why it's on all the others and not this one, but it isn't. The display is again, okay, it's nice and bright. You cannot light it or anything. There's no backlight on this one, so it is just what it is. Uh, and the only other thing as well is the actual temperature and humidity numbers. If they are important to you, then they're a little bit smaller than this one here. I don't know if you can see that, but the actual numbers on this are a little bit smaller, even though the screen is bigger. That's because you have the average temperatures underneath. So it's made the size of the temperature numbers a little bit smaller. So, so if your eyesight's not really good and all that matters to you is that you can clearly see the numbers, you might be better with the TP49. But again, the quality on this feels really good. And again, on the back, you can switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let's have a look at this one. This is kind of the daddy of all four of them. So this is the Thermo Pro Edge TP53, it's called. This has, again, all three mountains, table stand, magnet, and a hook. And this has a couple of extra features that the other ones don't. So first of all, it has a little backlight. We can press this little button here and the screen will light up. Press it again, screen goes dark. Good for dimly lit places. And the other feature this has is the recording of the average temperatures and humidity. So it has a button on the back, which will tell you the average temperature or humidity throughout the day for the past 24 hours, or you could press the button on the back and you can get the average humidity or temperature throughout the entirety. So let's say you want to know on a month what the average humidity has been for the month of April, you can do that 
with this. With just the press of the button, flick it from constant average or average temperature for the past 24 hours. So that's the only feature this has, plus the backlight that is not on any of the ones below. Again, nice big display, definitely the biggest display out of all of them. And again, the numbers on this are better done. They're better than this one. The way this one is displayed, the numbers are really shrunk because of the average temperatures being displayed. But the way this one is displayed with them down the side, it keeps the temperature and humidity numbers still big and bold. So you can see there, they are very, very clear. So yeah, out of all of them, obviously the TP53 is gonna get my vote because it has everything you will ever need. But if you just wanted a really, really simple basic one, maybe the TP49 would be a good choice. It's a pity this one, the TP50 doesn't have the hook or the wall mounting. Don't know why that's missing from there. So that's why I've ruled it out. So out of the four, my choice would be these two, Thermo Pro 53 or Thermo Pro TP49.